Yo folks, welcome back. I want to give you a small heads up on this Saturday for mini meters. And you can see this here at the top. It's some kind of application to visualize what's going on in your audio. And if you see videos or reels on TikTok, Instagram and so on, a lot of people use this. And the most asked question under these videos is probably what kind of application is this? And the answer is, of course, it's Minimeters. And you can download this here from this web page called Minimeters.app. It costs you 20 bucks if you don't own this. If you already own the beta, you can um, just download this for free. Um, but 20 bucks is actually not that much. It's a nice application. So like I said, it's a visualizer. Um, you can more, more or less grab the audio from your uh, output device on Windows at least. I use on Windows the uh, loopback device so I can just grab the audio from my door, uh, which is nice. And then you can customize how it looks, what kind of uh, modules you want to have, what kind of visual modules you want to have. I have here basically everything. So I have here a spectrogram, I have a waveform display, I have here a stereo meter, I have Love's loudness meter, I have the view meter, I have an oscilloscope and also here a spectrum analyzer. Um, you can also resize this and can put this in all kinds of places on your screen. Um, very customizable. Um, here on the web page, it gives you also the information what you have, uh, or at least what's new in the application. We have your VU meter. Wow. The waveform has some new features here. Loop, disable scrolling, so you can loop. I haven't tried this yet. Um, spectrogram also here now with um, a tilt setting adjust the balance between the low and the high frequency content. So you can basically say, oh, I want to have more like a pink noise leveled um, visualizer or you want to more go like for 4.5 dB per octave or something like this. There's also a new sharper mode now, improved timing and frequency detail. So you can see exactly what's going on in your uh, spectrum. Very nice. Uh, a spectrum analyzer is also in there. Also here new, the melt scaling. Um, it basically kind of distributes here the frequencies a bit differently, so you can maybe uh, visualize certain parts better. Um, target curve. We have a target curve now, so we can load in here wave files, something you want your music to compare to, maybe you know a reference track or something like this, and then you have an overlay um, uh, of the frequency, so you can orient orient yourself where you are with your frequency content. So we have a target curve, nice to have. The stereo meter is also now in there. Loudness, it was in before, but we can measure here in LUFS or RMS if you are more like more old school oscilloscope. New, save what you hear. So there's also now a recorder in there. So we can record stuff on the fly. Just hit record and you have a WAV file or you can just drag out um, the WAV file into your door and just mangle with it, mess it up or whatever. Um, there's also here clip the previous 10, 16 seconds of audio, millimeter saves the previous 10 uh, seconds of audio, um, receive for immediate capture, track directly into your audio tool of choice. So it's really nice to have. And you can see here in the background, it's Bitwig, right? And that's something I noticed lately um, that a lot of developers uh, use Bitwig for some reason. So every time I try to download a new plugin or I want to uh, watch what's going on with the plugin, I watch a demo video and the developer uses Bitwig for some reason. So Bitwig is everywhere, at least for me, what I see uh, online. Um, and we have also your mini meters now as a plug-in, so you can load in a VST or clap plug-in into your door if you don't want to use it as a standalone application. So this is also possible. Um, but for me, I use here the standalone app. It works great just grabbing the, um, the loop back device of my audio of my Bitwig Connect. It works very well. This is also a nice, the stick mode. I show you this here in a minute. This is basically a game changer for me uh, because I had always trouble with the positioning of this uh, thing here. So we can say at the top, position at top and stick. So let's remove this here for a moment. And you can see um, this is still at the top, but Bitwig is below below the application. So we can't see the top of Bitwig, right? We can move this here around. 
uh, we can maybe uh, can can I resize this? Yeah, we can resize this, right? Something like this. But there was never a real place on my screen where I could put this and still use Bitwig easily. I have here a third screen, a small little screen where I can put this, but then you don't see it on my recording, right? Uh, or on my OBS recording. So here, what we can do now is we can say, instead of moving this around and putting in this in some kind of regular places or uh, crazy places, uh, we can use here reposition and say position at the top. And then we can say stick. So now you can see uh, Bitwig is basically below, which means also when you make the window smaller here, right? Go into window mode. And then we say we want to maximize this window, right? And it maximizes below, um, yeah, the millimeters application. So it thinks this is actually the full screen. I don't know what kind of magic they use there to, to code this. Uh, maybe this is um, exclusive to Windows, but it works really well. So also you when I open up the browser, right? And I make makes it maximize here the browser, you can see um, it's still below the application. So it's like you have like, um, two screens in one screen, more or less, and Bitwig thinks, or Windows thinks this is here actually the full screen. Really dope to have. Um, so yeah, this is the stick mode, for me at least a, a very good game changer. Um, I will probably use this application a lot more just because of this. There are also your presets uh, for uh, customizations, so you can customize this in any shape or form and then you just save it as a preset. So here there's a default preset called default quad. And I just saved this here. And now it looks like here, um, what's the name? Vision X from Noisia. Um, this kind of tool that I also used a lot. And here it's the same configuration. So we have a spectrogram here. We have a waveform display here, uh, a spectrum analyzer here and a stereometer. So um, also notes here, look at this. So it's very nice um, all around kind of visualizer that you can use in any shape or form. That's also full screen here, nice. Um, everything is there. Settings, we can def define or customize basically everything uh, from how it looks like, uh, how long the fall time of certain of these things are, uh, different color maps here. So you can really customize everything. It's a very nice, customizable plugin for a very small price. I actually want just want to give you more or less here an update to this. Um, let me switch here to the uh, horizontal layout back to this. Yeah, this is much better. Um, so here, uh, this is the recording, right? Because we can just record stuff uh, for a moment with this. But I have no idea how to drag it out, actually. I haven't, I haven't tried this yet. Maybe you have to look in the help. <laughs> I just downloaded this, I have no idea. Audio capture, um, show show 60 second clip button. Clip to 60 seconds. Oh, you can just drag this out. Okay, this is how it works. Nice. So we have the last 60 seconds here as a waveform. Super dope. Um, so with this, I probably don't even need to uh, use, what's the name, rolling sampler, quick sampler from Birds, which is also a nice plugin, but here I have it's everything in just one plugin, more or less. Um, show, copy last 60 second clip, copy last 10 second clip. Let's do this, I can go here, and hit Control and B, nice. So this also works very neatly. Um, so yeah, this is the update for millimeters. I think it's a really great but again, maybe try out a demo version. There is actually no iLog or anything like this. There's no login. You just pay 20 bucks and then you have it. Um, maybe try out a demo beforehand. But um, yeah, I think it's a great, great update. Uh, is there anything else I want to talk about? Probably not. That's probably it. So uh, link is in the description below if you want to try it out and uh, leave a like, uh, leave maybe a comment. Let me know what you think about it. Do you use it actually? Do you use it already? Uh, how do you like the update? And also subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time and bye.
Look, you can even resize it. Nice. Bitwig still thinks this is the full screen, right? Yeah. Dope. Maybe I have to reconfigure this here. Can I actually... Spectrograms, we can move this to the left. Size these two here, seems like. Yeah, really dope. I really like it. I love it actually. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.